gang, loon gang. Geometric sequences and that. This question caught my eye, I can't lie. I thought it was quite interesting, uh, looks-wise. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd solve it, innit? So it says, given that the sum to infinity is eight-sevenths sum of six terms, show that r is plus or minus uh, one over root k. Now, sum to infinity is a over one minus r. Now, sn is a one minus r to the power of n all over one minus r. I don't want you guys to think of this formula like this with a question like this because it's something really cool we can do. Within all the sum formulas, they have sum to infinity in them. And by thinking of it like this, the sum to infinity just cancels. Okay? Tricks and that. That's what I'm trying to help you guys, yeah? Save this video, man, and send it to a friend to spread the word. Which means S6 is sum to infinity 1 minus r to the power of 6. So it's saying above, sum to infinity is 8 over 7, lots of sum to infinity 1 minus r to the power of 6. This cancels, we get 7 eighths is 1 minus r to the 6. Switcheroony, r to the power of 6 is 1 over 8. And then if you type this in the calculator, guys, it's not going to give you a nice answer. So we're going to do in stages. We're going to think of 6 as 2 times 3. And we're going to cube root both sides first. Yeah, which we'll get rid of that. And we'll get r squared is the cube root of 1 eighth, which is 1 over 2. And then we square root both sides and we get plus or minus 1 over root 2. And that, guys, is super clean. Save this video. It's part of your vision for geometric sequences. Send this to a mate. Don't forget that... Uh, I'm hosting a session before your next exam, crime course and that. Head to my bio if you want to sign up. And head to Neil Does Maths on YouTube for checking out my comprehensive playlist with all types of A-level questions going through the whole spec. You don't want to miss out because the students doing that who are raising the grey boundaries. Good luck. Nice.